turn it on. Smiley face, check the beard. Right, I've got a different one today. I think you'll like this one. Um, I'll show you, let me have, have a look. Hello. And this, is, and this is Ellie, my daughter. Hello. And have you been on one of mine before? I have not. Oh my life, no. okay. Right, Ellie's got this table and it's an Ikea table. Mm -hmm. And it's seen it's seen better days. Yep. Um, it got tell us a story. So it was on Facebook Marketplace for about a sixth of what you can buy it for in IKEA. So it was a good saving. Really good. Um, yeah, a bit of dog chewing. <laughs> dog attack. Yeah. And the dog attacked it when it was apart as well. Look yep. at it. So the dog's done a good job. So it needs a bit of work. So Ellie's brought it here for me to have a look at and we've come up with a plan. Right, and the plan is, we think, first of all, I'm going to get Ellie to file this off. So we'll do a bit of filing and shape that so that it doesn't look as drastic. And we'll take some of this off. Ellie's got a beautiful kitchen. And I think what we'll do, and we've, we've discussed it, is take all this back to key it up for the colour she wants over the top, which will come later, we won't do it now, mm -hmm. but the colour's pretty cool. So the colour's gonna go over the top. Use this as a primer coat. I don't think we're going to add um, a primer before that. I think just key this up so that the other one adheres to it. If it gets damaged and it starts getting a bit knocked about, Ellie will be able to sand the corner off, make it look a bit better if something like this happens, and then put a bit more wax on it and forget about it and live with it and let it have natural, normal wear and tear. Wear and tear. Yeah, I'm aware, yeah. I think we've got a couple of things to find. We've got a new one of those to do as well. New dowel. Oh, great. Oh, that's oh, it. Perfect. That gets easier, doesn't it? <laughs> just glue it in that way around. Perfect. Let's get this in the vice. Have a look. Yes. I've just spotted these. These are little adjustment feet things so that it's four legged. If the floor's uneven, we can, Ellie will be able to level it up. But the thing to do is just have a look and see how deep it goes in there, see what's going on. It's pretty good. So I think we'll set them up to, I think we can go, if we go a centimetre from there to there, mm -hmm. if you want your table a bit higher, we can pull it out a bit more. If you want your table a bit lower, you can push it in a bit more. Yep. So we'll set them all up to 10 mil. There's damage on this one, which I think we'll glue later. Let's work on this first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this is where, this is where the shoes are gonna sit. When somebody's sitting on it, this is gonna take the wood. Mm -hmm. So I would just rip that off now. And we'll put a bit of spray or something it's over insane it. insane how beautiful that looks already. What? In just even just like tidying that like that. Yeah. Oh, it looks so nice already. Well, I mean, when, when you've got the middle off as well. Yep. So the middle's got to come off a bit. This doesn't look good because the paint's flaked away there. So mm -hmm. if that if that blended better. Wouldn't look so bad. Looking round it off. And really, what we're after is just a nice surface because you don't know whether this has been waxed or whatever. We want something that the paint will stick to. Mm -hmm. So it's a case. It's a case of going over all of it. But let's get rid of these bumps. That needs to go down a bit more. So then you get a cabinet scrape, and this is what you might be better off using. Mm -hmm. Look at this, see the layers there now. See how you can see where, oh. this is the top coat, there's the primer, there's the timber. Mm -hmm. 
So you'll sort of have that effect. But look, we've, we've almost got rid of, there's only that little bit of evidence left. And a couple of teeth marks, which I can chuck a bit of filler in. Okay, so that could be then sanded. Okay, great. You can sand all of that and that one's done. Oh, we glue that. Yeah, great. So wipe that excess, wipe that in. Any excess, wipe it into this. So if there's any splits in here, it'll help these splits as well. Put that in there. Clamp it down. Let's put that one. So I'm going to put the small, the, the longer one under there, and I've got the smaller one, smaller one on top. So that I can see just how well it's doing. So let's put that there. Right, okay. Glue will go off. Put some more shaping in that later. Yep. Looking good. Looking good. That's looking good. That can just be sanded. Let's go over all of that with sandpaper and that's done. That could do a bit of sandpaper. You're going to sand this one now anyway. Yes. It's looking good. And this is where the paint's just yeah. coming off. That feels better. There you go. Time to catch up, see how far Ellie's got with the tape. Legs are all rubbed down. And she's done a good job of those. Look at all this. Actually, that needs feathering in a little bit more. But she's done a good job. Looking good. Totally different to some of the stuff I've got going on. Here's the pedestal. And we need to put these two together. Here's the table. So Ellie's also been rubbing down all of this. So that it can be painted. So we've got a sander there ready for... The top so we're going to turn that over in a bit but I thought we, sh we should put this together and I thought we'd show you how to do it so Ellie's going to put it together Let's, so basically that's the wrong way around we need that that way so the hollow bit is the bottom yeah and the legs go in like this if you take that nut off there mm -hmm. just unscrew the you might have to hold the thread Okay, so that goes in there like that. Dowel in there. We might need to lie it down. So yeah. lie, lie your bit on the floor. And we might need to knock it in a bit. Or put some weight on it. Or just give it a shove. There you go. Works mm -hmm. with the shove. And then we'll put the next leg on there. So we can take all these nuts off. I'll yeah. just put them there just to save keeping. Two dowels, one threaded bar bit, push it down a bit, there you go. Next one is there and there, so really I'll do one and I'll do one. Now they've been very clever the way they've designed this, we haven't put any glue on the dowels but the threaded bar they've put at the what I'm going to call it's the bottom and that will stop any spread stop any load so as the load goes onto there it goes up would go up which means that would be that's where the tension is going to be so they've got it exactly right 
we've got nuts to put on there but i'm going to see if we've got some washers because if you look at that you can see there's a nut gone into there and it actually would sit better if it sat on a washer so let's see if i can find some washers so it's good if you're stripping down ikea stuff keep the bits and pieces because i've just gone through here and i've got lots of washers which is good ellie says the washers fit which is great but what we're going to do is we're going to double the washers up we're going to put two washers on each one we've got room for it and what it means is if there's any stress any pressure on that that squashes into this bit of wood which i think is some sort of mdf or is it real wood it could be real wood i don't know um if it does squash into there we can still get to the nut and still tighten it because we don't want it to do what that one's done which is just bury itself there that doesn't help at all really we could do some spring springs on here now and uh, spring washers and nylock nuts but they don't come with nylock nuts putting these on this so two washers on each yeah. on each one and and then the nuts so tighten those up so that they're going into those as tight as possible because that's important that one a bit tighter just want to make sure it's gone all the way through that mm. nuts are here so the nuts can now go on doesn't matter if I drop it because it's not going very far Ooh. and sometimes these threads can be a little bit problematic there you go two done I'll do number three Ellie can do number four Go on then, you do the last one. That's it, back it off a little bit and then try again. My nails are making it difficult. Let's have a look, I'll do it. I think you're pulling the thread out. I yeah. think it's cross-threaded. Yeah. So this can happen, it's cross-threaded slightly, so it's at an angle. So let's get it out. It's loose, wobbling that. So this can happen if you're not quite. Oh, and it won't come out because the other one's in. Give me a sec, I've got to undo that. Two hours. All I had to do was grip the threaded part. But I need to make sure I need that off there now. Need that off there and that wound back into there properly because what I want to do is get rid of some of that gap as soon as they that's it there you go that's me pushing it in yeah so yeah. as soon as I start tightening it up so not cross threading please there you go it's on. right spanner 13 mil spanner now you can get the ending like that with the spanner and you've got to do a bit of twisting to get in or you can just use the the round end which is a lot easier and what this should be doing is closing the gap there nice to have some washers on there it's gonna be so much better than it was before just by adding washers it's crazy isn't it I wonder if they missed them out of the last one and that's why they had a wobbly table and that's why they sold it. Oh, now look what's happening. Oh, can you see Can you see that Ellie? See how mm -hmm. the one washer has bedded it, yeah. itself in already mm -hmm. and then the second one's still giving me an easy time to... Oh, there you go. That's it, that's all we've got to do. Tighten all four of those up, back in a sec. We have tabled together sort of um, missing parts and I think that's what the, um, the title for this video might be. I've had to make this dowel 
to marry up with that one. And we've glued them in as well. We're gluing these in, even though they say don't. This is second-hand table, so it's fine that it's... This will be its final use, probably, most likely. But making everything a little bit more permanent. But not just that. We haven't got the two... We haven't got the stud and the nut for there. They should look something like that. Um, where a stud comes down and this sort of thing goes that way. But these aren't, these aren't the right ones. These aren't big enough. But you know what? We might use them if we've got room for head there. If, we, if we've got more room for head, I've actually found amongst my collection of stuff these, which these are nice big coach screws, which would thread down into there, which I think would do just as good. But it's headroom we need. So we need to see that sort of headroom or this sort of headroom inside there. So we've got to have a look at that next. OK, as if we weren't having enough fun, we've just gone through the numbers and there's one of these missing. Have you got that one? So, where are the others? They're in a bag here. So they look like that. But we're going to put one of those in, which is another IKEA type screw. That will be better than that. But what I've got to do is I've got to extend the hole. So I've found a drill bit. And we're going to put the normal screws, those have got to go from here up into the tabletop because we can't mess around with the tabletop. But the leg is chunky enough to take a longer bolt through. So that's where that's going. Into there. Okay, the good thing is Ellie's just read through the destructions. This is a solid beach leg which goes in our favour. I've just drilled the hole there, that one, and crikey, this piece of wood's hard. So it's most likely kiln dried. Can you hold that bracket out? It's most likely kiln dried European beach and it's very hard. So now, instead of a piddly little screw like that, we've got this decent thing going in, which actually, part of me is thinking, oh God, wouldn't it be good if they were all like this? Because it's going to be a much better fitting. The thing is as well, this is self-centering, because it's got a countersunk on the head. So the good thing is, as we put it in, and because I've only got to extend the hole, I haven't changed the position of the hole. So luckily, all of this should be pretty good. That is a great fitting on there. That, if you ever need to, look at that. That actually looks better than there. And it, we know it's twice as long. I'm tempted. If there were more missing ones, and actually the one to do it on would be the top. Because if you imagine putting, putting pressure on the table, it's the top screw put pressure on it's the top screw that takes all the leverage but we don't need any spare screws so just do the one but that's nice to know it's ikea stuff so they try to stick to a standard right next turn this over so you have an english degree why am i asking about your english degree it's not because, in maths. because it's not in maths <laughs> right so we've just counted all of these and we were one missing weren't we so how many do we need? We need eight. We need eight. So let's put them in place. This isn't humiliation at all. This is just double check everything, people, because sometimes you don't actually need to do all that extra hole and find extra bits and pieces, do you? We've got a spare one just in case something goes wrong. Yes. So let's look at it like that. And I'll put that in my spare box with everything else. Well done. Next, turn that over. Right, so this, if you lever under there, there's a little lever under there. This is ruined in the middle, look. This is the problem. Chipboard, ruined in the middle. So this, ah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that works nice. That is nice. So, you just undid the levers and pulled? Undid those two and pulled one. Okay. So this, this oh, okay. Is the... We've not done this before. The leaf. So that one goes that way. I have no idea what Does it just is. slide? Do you just push and it slides in? I like the way you're thinking. I have no idea how to use. 
Do I grab that and pull it? Do I lift that up? Oh yeah, look at the mechanism on here. Right. And then, see the metal bits there? Yes, they're, they're these. Yeah. See, right, but that, that's what we're looking at. See those holes there? Yes. So somewhere in the instructions, it's got to tell us to bolt through there. But what we need to know is how much room... Have I got room for those heads to bolt that down? Because that's those two holes there go align with those two holes there. This making sense? Yeah, it does make sense. I'm just so trying to, to see. Have we got the instructions? Yeah, I've got the instructions. Paper or well, it, we, we just found it in this then. There was, there was some the instructions there. then, yeah. Yeah, but I think that's just telling you how to do it. Oh uh, yeah, no, I've got them online. Okay. All this needs cleaning, so one, yeah, it does. I mean look we can get to this now. Yeah. I think these heads, because look if I do that, that's how much the head's going to yeah, be. Yeah, they must be too far, haven't they? Oh that's to stop this coming down too far, so there's a weird dowel here. This really needs cleaning. It really does, it's filthy. It's not bad is it? I mean this no. is a mess. This is a mess, but... So that goes like that, and then, and then you just, just... Is that it? Yeah, what's going on? And then you, I bet you lock that lever back down then. Do you reckon? Oh, yours isn't... Yeah. I haven't got the hands to push it. There you go. Okay. Push it to me. Push yeah. it. Push, 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 push. Yeah. Okay, let go. Yeah, it's opening a bit. Right. Okay. Let's discuss this before... Before we go any further, this is the problem. It's got this. So this is not, it's, it's hardly been used. It's used a bit, not often, but this is the problem. Mm -hmm. And what we've got is we've got the finish coming away from the chipboard, and it is chipboard. So Ellie is going to, we're going to sand this down, and I think I'm going to use a belt sander and be a bit coarse. I think that's what we've got to do. Mm -hmm. There's there's things like that, and there's bits like that, like that, and actually the rest of it's not too bad. This doesn't line up brilliantly. Doesn't matter. Take it apart. Give it a clean. Yeah. Before we do that, should we offer it up to there? And see if we can get it to work before, so that we know that job's out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's. We're gonna. We're gonna half. So pull it apart again. So you just. No, oh, you have to. Up. Lever up. Lever. Let me show you the lever. Yeah. No, lever goes up to release. So that's the lever. Mine's up now. Okay. There you go. So lever, then that goes oh, over there, and then, you sort of lift this and then that the goes in there. Yeah, it's, it's friendly on the fingers, it's not bad. It's not bad. But what we really need to know is, now it's, there's room under there for those bolts, I'm sure of it, yeah. but we've got to check it. Mm -hmm. Right, let's move the table somewhere so we can get to it. Right, so we've put it together, we've messed with the mechanism. It's fun and games getting these on the dowels, but I can see why they've got big dowels now. Um, and we made the error of, we went into the, oh, oh, oh Ellie. Oh, no. Those bolts don't, don't grip. See, it's just below there. Oh, I thought they'd grip. That one does. I wonder why that one doesn't. That's weird, isn't it? I've got two. Hang on, are these two different? Are those two different? No, they're not. I might, I might put something in that hole to make that so that it locks into there. This one, look, that one's gone all straight in. This one actually does need fix tightening down. Which I think will be the solution. I think we will end up. I mean, that's great. Anyhow, we've proved it works. Let me take this one back out. The proving method, that's what we're doing. 
This is a good little mechanism under here, this sort of throwing it over centre. Um, and Ellie, just, we just on about the wires as well. There's some wires here that allow that backwards and forwards. And the brake, oh, the brake, Ellie, look. Mm -hmm. the, the, the yeah. Actually pulls the cable. So it crimps the cable. Right. So when it's going backwards, so you say it's not working, it's but all it's doing is pulling the cable to stop people pulling it apart. Right, got you. So actually, that's a great little break. We're going to take this one out. I'm going to work on those and then we'll... All we need now is for this to shut and that not be in the way. And if it closes... Do you want to push from the other side out? Mm -hmm. There you go. And then the brake under there is done. But we're going to sand this down, and I want, I think, Ellie, I think we should go through planks. I think we should make a plank feature of this side. Okay. Because we've got a bit of a rustic thing going under there because of where and around here. And this doesn't look particularly good. It's given us a wide gap. So why don't we put more wide gaps on here, fake wide gaps? and make this work and make it so that this is less noticeable and that's less noticeable. So yeah, let's fake some planks on there, I think. The problem. The problem is one of these threads nicely and the other one drops in. So my solution is gonna be, I'm gonna put some wax around here. I'm gonna get a couple of coffee sticks I'm going to put some glue on the back of there, in there, chop it off, and I'm going to wind that in so that the glue and the coffee stick helps make a thread inside there. So this is a very liquidy wax, almost too much liquid, but great for that look, just a little bit on there, plenty of glue in there. To the other one. So I'm just going to put them. I suppose I could use three, but I think two will be fine. Right, next. Right, it's feeling tight and it's going off centre already. But that's okay because the hole that's there is a huge pilot hole that's going to help ensure it goes down dead straight. It's working. That feels just as tight as the opposite side did, which is nice getting a bit easier now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there for the glue to go off so the air can get in down either side glue can go off I can chop these two bits off and that will be ready for tomorrow so we're sanded down there's a couple of shiny patches still, Ellie will go over those, but belt sanded it. What we're going to do now is going to introduce, make this into a three plank there, I think. I'll do the maths. Right, so it's 450mm, which means we could go 150, 300, 450, which is 150mm planks, which is six inches which is actually a typical wooden plank width. So if we can go six inches, so down here, hang on a sec, El, so thinking in 150s, mm -hmm. we'd go 150, 300, 450, or it goes 550. That's my vibe. Yeah? Yeah, I agree. So we go 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, whatever's left over. Yes. 
Okay, cool. All right, let's mark that up then. We're marked up and we're going to do it with the router. I tried it with the chisel, it's going to damage my straight edge. So we're marked up to do the planks. Um, v cutter in the router coming down about three or four mil just to put a V in. As you can see, I tried it with the chisel, router will be better. I'll show you in a sec. Right, there we have it. We've got V groove, and it's a bit wide, and I don't mind saying I've made a mistake a couple here and there. Little bit, little bit of a that first one's a little bit wider because actually when you there's another one there there's another one there when you stand back and look at it it just looks a little bit more normal but it looks like a plank top instead of should put it away mm -hmm. let's try putting it away so these things do a we've learnt a bit oh we've got to take the so you've got to get your fingers underneath first. So we've got done that. Yeah. Pull the ends away a bit. Pull the ends away. Mm -hmm. Then you lift that. Yeah. This bit folds. And look, we've sanded all this. Ellie's sanded all that. So that goes over there. How did that? It just goes down, I think. I don't know if it, it clips. I don't know. Yes, it yeah, snaps it down. Snap. Okay. And then the whole thing, you can lift it from the middle, I think. Or the other side. Mind your pinkies. It drops in there. There's a bit enough room for your hands here. Yeah. You do have out in there, then. It does. Right, let's put it together. See what it looks like put together. Because this now... Oh, yeah, look at that. Is the normal... Hang on a sec. Let's put it together. And click it. And that's it. Job done. <laughs> so that looks good. That looks great. Chuff with that. And the paint will go in here and start changing some of these. That'll look darker because it'll have a darker colour in. These will look a bit more closed up because it'll be uniform colour with that. And then this lot here is ready because the bolts are going like that. We're going to put it in the car now. Those are glued in. It's all ready. And the next time you see this table, it will be painted, won't it? And it'll look good. And there might be a bit thumbnail at the beginning if we can get a good picture of it. That's what we need to put it together. There's a screwdriver in there. I haven't got any of my tools except for that. And this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look good? So that's all done. Ellie's given it three coats. So it looks fab. And um, we've got the new dowel in there. And that came out all right. I want to show you that if I can get in there. The thread in there is brilliant. So that's worked well. So we're going to put the base in the kitchen here. And then two of us are going to try and lift that through and put it on. We know it's awkward to put on there, but it's got to be done. So let's do that. All tight inside. We've just lifted these adjusters about 10 mil. And we're going to try it on the floor and make sure it sits happy. So let's put it in the middle of the room, shall we? And that's the thing. So we can just there you go. Level. <laughs> So good. Through, isn't it? So that's got to go. That's 
your way. Can you hold that? Like that's the thing. You've got to hold that there yeah. before it drops down. So you've got a bit of space to work. And then, well, if you come around here, so I'm going to tighten those in there. And these weren't part of the thing. I don't think these have been done. But we're going to do it as an extra bit of as an extra bit of belt and braces. Make sure that. And actually, it would have been nice to get a couple of washers under here, but you know what? So that one that's gone down by hand is just the way the hole is. And then this one is the one that I'll put a new thread in. actually just do it because these two might stick to each other. Yeah. Okay. And then grab the outsides Josh. Oh you might find the under thing needs pulling out a bit. And those are the the thing under here Josh. It's out. Is it? Yeah. This one because there's a lot of paint on it. Pull the two together. Oh, that's that's it. Now, now get underneath and pull it. You need to pull it together. Pull it together, Josh. And then as you pull it... Yeah. Happy? I absolutely love it. Right, do you two want to pick it up and put it in the corner, however you're going to put it? Yeah. So should we put it down to the circle, or do you want to see what it's like? I, I'd leave it open, because all, you want all of this to yeah. cure. Because right. if those two are sitting on top of each other, closed, there's a chance that they might, like out there where the feet were... Yeah, they might stick. They might stick together. Yeah. It's going to fit in that space beautifully, it's just because it's an oval. I'd go a long ways that way for now. So you can still get all through all your cupboards and everything. And still get to the door. That's very true. So my end into the Yeah, door. I think so. Let's give that a go. Ready? Yeah. Well, I've just remembered we need to do the things underneath. Well, they might be alright. The brackets. Oh yeah, the brackets, sorry. Yeah, we've got to get under there now and do those, those little brackets. We'll get under there and do that. Would you do these parts next or would you go around and do those first? Tighten, tighten whichever, tighten all of them. They're all in the holes now, so they should all be tightened up. Okay. Tightened up. And it's looking pretty good. It looks great down here. Yeah. And it's nice to see that you've painted all this early. Before, ah, sorry, after it was assembled. Yeah. So the joints down here look really sharp. That's a great job, well done. Not so we've been doing the brackets. And we've been tightening one into the leg, one into the top, one into the top, one into the leg, so that all four are tightened. And Josh is just doing that last bracket. And we're done.